going guys, it's Jeff from Rogue 7, Rogue Tech Support. I'm here to bring you a video about USB Switchblade, which you may be familiar with if you watch my videos. I did a portion on it in my Protecting Yourself versus USB Hacks and Wi-Fi Hacks. But today we're going to be taking a look at USB Switchblade from the point of view of password recovery. So you lose your password to something that you use online, you can use USB Switchblade to recover those passwords and back them up. So let's take a look at how to set up USB Switchblade on your USB device. So to install and use this program, you're going to go to your internet and type in www.usbhacks.com. I'll leave this in the description. Go to Exploit Tools into USB Switchblade right here. And then you're going to download the No U3 Auto Run. Even if you do have a U3 SanDisk or Memorex pen drive, you're going to download the No U3 Auto Run. After you download it, go to wherever you downloaded it to, and you'll have a RAR file. So extract that with WinRAR. You'll get a file called PC Info. Now you don't want to put this file directly into your USB drive. You're going to open it first copy all the files in here and then paste these files directly into your USB drive. Okay. So after you do that, you're going to plug in your USB drive again and you're going to get two windows if you have a U3 system. Uh, a U3 SanDisk will bring up this one for the U3 system and you're going to close that. But then you'll have an autoplay for this one and it will say install or run program open files on folder you're going to hit the you're going to click that and you'll wait a few seconds and then check your dump file and then you should have all the passwords for your history uh, internet explorer passwords im clients it doesn't work with msn i'm sorry um, installed updates mail uh, email files mozilla cookies uh, your network adapter network adapter passwords your open ports your product key if you happen to misplace that um, that's for your operating system, uh, your, your protected storage passwords, selected protected storage passwords, startup, anything that starts up on your computer, it will be in here. Also, you can just go back into batch exe, the folder, and you have all of these single programs that it uses. You can use these as single programs. You can just go ahead and open them up and you can get all the information from it. So I hope this helps, and I hope you don't use this for malicious purposes. For any questions, comments, or otherwise, leave them below in a comment or send me a message. I'll make sure to get back to you as soon as possible. If you watch my videos, you like my videos, go ahead and subscribe for me. I'd really appreciate it. Till next time, this is Jeff from Rogue7, bidding you farewell.